Oh man, our thing didn't play. Hold on. There. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's why. I'm an idiot. Don't agree with me on that one. Welcome, everybody. Hey, I was really excited to do our special little thing, but I hit the wrong button. Woohoo! Uh, welcome to our August YouTube exclusive. I know it's coming out a little bit later, but uh, if anyone's followed us, you know we've been through some stuff as a family. But today, I have assembled a crew. I got James, that man who's a coal miner's daughter. Coal. <laughs> coal I'm a coal miner's daughter. <laughs> I got Gigglebox Solomon. Yeah, don't call me that. Maybe, or maybe I wish I had a brain Solomon. And uh, the, the closest thing I know to the toy man, Mr. Levi, <laughs> with all his McFarlane collection. They may make an appearance today. <laughs> so yeah. I thought it would be a fun idea. You know, recently we got the costume reveals from the characters for the upcoming Superman. And I thought, you know, it would be kind of cool that really lends itself to more of a visual discussion is we build our own Superman costumes, basically using, I, I said live action or anything in the, in the uh, comics to kind of choose the different elements. And we also include our own fortress of solitude. Um, I'm going to go over here and uh, get my slide here. Uh, I don't, ever, I don't ever want to see my answers, but oh, geez, Tyler's got like a visual. He's like, he's oh, got yeah. like a whole visual representation going. Oh yeah, me and Solomon, we 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 worked hard on this. Um, yeah. So what yeah, I'm gonna I'm do? On this on my own. So what I'll do is I'll I'll jump back and forth so that I don't give away ours because it's not let me do what I wanted it to do. Um, but so everyone can know, I'm gonna bring up the categories here. And we'll get a quick look so that if anyone at home wants to later, uh, wants to later, what do you call it? Do their own thing. Oh, no, don't look. Nobody look. Shit. I mean, shoot. Stop sharing. There we go. <laughs> I'm a donkey on the edge. You're 10 man. All right. So. We were watching The Wizard of Oz before we started this. Sailor was like, I want to watch The Wizard of Oz. So we were eating and watching The Wizard of Oz. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with boots, the bodysuit, the trunks, belt, cape, hair, symbol, and your fortress of solitude. Those are our eight categories we will be going through tonight. And you can see I'm already wearing my homemade Superman costume I made like 12 years ago for my little short fun film you can find on our YouTube. Sometimes you'll find me wearing this to the movies or walking down to the bus stop to pick the kids up. Yeah. Or if there's a windy day, I'll grab and just stand outside so my cape blows in the wind. <laughs> there's nothing more th more awesome than just standing outside in your front yard with your cape blowing. But before we get started, I want to ask you guys, when, when you were doing this assignment, did anything, did, without giving details, did things surprise you with what you were choosing? We'll let... Uh, James, go first. Um, I mean, yeah. As I'm as I'm kind of choosing it, it's I I got some of my own little, you know, what little parts of different of these areas that I that I like. Um, and it's you know, it's not overly designed, you know. Mm -hmm. Not okay. choosing different things that clash because something is from a newer costume and something's from an older costume. You know, I think I think the things with clashing yeah. can be tweaked. You know, it's like I was I really realized how my my preferences and tastes, and I, I'm very interested to see what you guys picked. But uh, I well, think Solomon know, here, the ultimate wild card, is going to throw you guys for some loops here. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like. It's like when I, I was thinking about it in kind of like the uh, Injustice 2 way. And when you get to pick all those different because they have multiple different yeah. um, styles of suit and armor pieces. And, you know, when you throw something on and it just doesn't look right with the other pieces. Gotcha. All right, Levi, what did you learn about yourself while doing this task? Uh, I mean, we chatted earlier this week, and for me, it came down to not accidentally recreating something we had already seen. Mm. Um, 
I'm very much more into the modern Superman costume. So, like, uh, you know, the season three, season four of Superman and Lois, the the Cavo Superman mm-hmm. suits to me are all all perfect suits. So it was tempting to just you know post a picture of yeah, he's just, like, like so be like done. He's like and done. So all right, well we'll get started. We'll start with we'll go James. Levi, Psalm, is there anything you want to say without giving details about your journey? Because I know we, we did it together. It was fun. Oh, I did not expect this until I saw all of those. So I'm going to probably take you guys off. You guys can probably be here for a left. As my clock says, I'm the comedy guy. Yep. That's, so here we go. I'm going to stop sharing our screen so I can pull up stuff. But we'll start with James. Boots, my friend. Boots. What did you choose as your boots? Um... I mean, you know, obviously a red boot, um, nothing like so leather, kind of, you know, most of the way up the shin, three quarters way up the shin, kind of, and red with uh, the uh, downward, um, uh, a downward triangle in the middle there, um, kind of up under the knee, Um, you know, pretty reminiscent of like the... um, uh, the Henry Cavill boot, but okay, not so like went... as in like part of the suit, just but form fitting boot like that. Okay, so you went more with the Henry Cavill boot. Yeah. Okay. All right. From which which movie? Um, the uh, the BVS okay. style. All right, Levi. What boots did you choose? I almost went that route because I do really like the way that that one is like built into the suit. It's part of the suit, but I ended up going with the brand new boots from the Superman movie coming out. Oh, uh, they are. I've got a picture of them. They're a little chunky. They're mm-hmm. a little um, bulky. They've got a bit of the almost armored look to them which will make sense as we go into the rest of the suit that i have in mind okay all right okay so here we go solomon's choice for boots are you guys ready yeah. here we go yeah. i'm ready here we go solomon chose Boom. brendan rouse crisis boots yeah I want, hmm. I want guys. I yeah i like the height of those um and and the fact that they're still kind of just a a, a sleek boot, you know, they're not they're not uh, thicker like the other like the boots that uh, Levi chose, um, but uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so Salma, what was it about these boots that you liked? Well, I really like the red. I also like if you see the red layers on there. Mm-hmm. And then like what James James said, like the height of the boots okay and just, just amazing okay all right but, but they're just my favorite boots. so my boots that i chose i'll reveal here in a moment um one i've never been much of a boot person like i don't really like wearing heavy shoes uh comfortable footwear is very important so i'm always about like i hate wearing anything that's uncomfortable so like you know i have a pair of doc martens that i bought almost 20 years ago maybe 20 years ago that looked brand new because i don't wear them that often because i don't like heavy i like something that's comfortable that makes my foot feel alive so i went with the superman and lois season one boots they just look like a very comfortable sneaker you know they they're get- a little small they're a little small but you know what they just look comfy they're not it does look like they built over a sneaker yeah yeah well, I'm I'm uh, I'm a minimalist shoe type of person most of the time. Um, you know, that's that's what I walk around in. That's what I go out in is is a minimalist shoe type of thing. So, you know, I know about like keeping my feet moving. You know, and I definitely don't want anything heavy. I say. So, you know, all the other boots have more heavy and they're thicker. Or they're too high or they're cut weird. And I'm like that just looks like something that I could put on, walk around all day fly around kick butt and just be relaxed in and my feet would not hurt at the end of the day 
So my choice of boot is Superman and Lois season one. <laughs> All right. Back to James. Next element. What is your body suit? Um, <clears throat> so my body suit is, is um, like the Brandon Routh uh, crisis suit. Okay. Um, you know, not thick looking. Uh, you know, you can see the definition, you know. Uh, I, you know, a Superman is not built in pads. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, and I, I think, but the, the blue is going to be a little more, is going to be a little lighter, uh, closer to the um, uh, Brandon Routh, uh, Superman Returns blue. Okay. But not as like, you know, how thick that fabric looked and everything, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah. Okay. It's a good bodysuit. Good bodysuit. All right, Levi, what is your bodysuit of choice? So I went to the comics for this one. Okay. I went new 52 bodysuit for Superman. Uh, and I'm glad he brought up color. I said the McFarlands might make an appearance. Mm -hmm. The blue off the Injustice 2 McFarland to me is top tier Superman blue. Yeah. Uh, not too light, not too dark. It's a very yep and nice mixture. New 52 suit. I like the... I actually have the, the premiere panel of it from when he first pulls it on. It, it's, it's fabric, but once he puts it on, it's almost got that armored look to it. It's a little chunkier. Um, part of my thinking, going back to the boots, is they look a little more alien. That suit mm -hmm. looks a little more alien. Um. And I think with the more armored look, you don't have to go as big as Henry Cavill did to be the, the character. Yeah. You can get away with having a slimmer, more athletic build actor in there now because the suit will hide some of that. All right. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Hold on. So, so here comes... We're going to reveal Solomon's ready and boom, the Superman flyby bodysuit is his choice. Nice. I, I like the red of the symbol. Like it's nice mm -hmm. and it's like good. Plus, um, it's just, it looks dope and I wish I could see this in the movie. So when we were going through all the like the stuff and the suits and different like variations, he saw that and was like, "Yeah, I'll undo that one." So he chose Superman flyby bodysuit. I told you I surprised you all. <laughs> all right, so here goes mine. Are we ready? And your this might shock you guys, but I this really got me. But I choose the new one, the David Corn Sweat uh, bodysuit, and I got thinking about it. I like that it looks not padded i like that it looks more like a suit um i've always liked the collar in the new 52 so the fact that the collar is a little bit on here i do like it looks like a uniform i like the blue it's a little light but i'm, I'm interested to see what it's gonna look like on film um but the more i looked at it and everything i do like this bodysuit i'm i like that it's textured and it's not looking like it's just like fabric or it's not just tights. It actually looks like it's a, a suit or a uniform. Yeah. So well, when we got that first close up image of the symbol in the snow, you got to see some of the texture of the fabric. It's a really nice close up shot. And I did say that that was like one of my favorite looks to the fabric of these suits because we've gotten a lot of different designs in the suits, date going all the way back to uh, the Raimi Spider Man movies, mm -hmm. you know, with the textured body suits and stuff. They've all varied over the years and they've had different ones like the, the, Brandon Routh one's got all the little Superman symbols all over it. And, you know, the the chainmail look of the Henry Cavill uh, 
Kryptonian suits. Yep. So, exactly. Yeah. So, all right, James. I, I went with I went with kind of a, a cloth, but not like so much tights. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> what does your crotch look like? Trunks? No trunks? Or what type of trunks? <laughs> uh, I went back and forth on it, you know, because I can take it or leave it. But I I went without trunks. Went without okay. trunks, but a, a red belt. Uh, Wait, we're not the belt yet. We're not the belt oh. yet. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's Shut up, James. <laughs> Thanks, homie. I'm doing that too much sugar, man. I know. I'm ready. I'm this. Jesus. All right. You got, hey, hey. You need to calm down, dude. All right. So James's crotch is clear. All right. Levi, how's yours holding on? I'm firmly in the no trunks camp. So. All right. This podcast is interesting. All right. You ready? And here goes Solomon. Boom. No trunks. No trunks. <laughs> and that's with his bodysuit. And boom. No trunks for me either. Uh, we're probably going to get some hate because nobody picked trunks. Um, and you know what? It's a preference. I think it's aesthetically can look good and sometimes it can't. But I don't need them. Um, I'll argue with anybody. Personally, don't need them because of you know how I set other things up in my costume. Uh, but yeah, I went no trunks. If I had to pick trunks, just so we have like a, it would be more like the probably the Brandon Ralph uh, crisis trunks. But I think those are the best looking. Um, but if anyone I who wants, trunks, I would go with like I would go with the uh, Fleischer trunks from Superman and Lois Pilot. There you go. <laughs> And and that color of the bodysuit on that. If I can go with trunks, guess what would it be? What? No trunks. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I've created a monster. <laughs> All right. So the next thing is uh belt style. Like what would you do in the belt area? Um, well, so my belt is is red slight v shape you know slanted upwards uh not too thick you know um it just just thick enough that when it goes into like the yellow shield um right in the front you know that it blends and it's not like too large little style towards it around the around the shield and the the red belt but as it goes out, it's a little slimmer. All right. Levi, what belt did you choose? I went with the Superman and Lois uh, belt. Red. Uh, it's got gold accents towards the middle. It's got the glyph uh, as the belt buckle. Nice way to break up the not having trunks and the solid blue mass of a ar armored Superman suit. All right, so here we go. Ready? Solomon's boom. He chose the Superman and Lois season one belt. Yes. And, and there's there's like slight variations in it because technically, if I'm not mistaken, um, there like there is a difference in the season three belt. It's I should little... I should specify mine's the season three belt since Solomon okay. busted out the season one. Yep. And then just so you guys know, boom, I follow up just a different shot with the season one belt as well. I did like the season three, but there's a little bit more of the angle and smoothness that I liked to the season one and season two belt. Yeah. For Superman yeah. The and Superman and Lois belts were, was my inspiration too. All right. Our next choice, James, which cape did you choose? Um, so I chose, uh, oh man. So I'm, I'm kind of made a mixture actually. Um, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's the Henry Cavill, uh, where it inserts, how it looks like it inserts into just some small cuffs right at the, mm -hmm. uh, outset and the, and the straight collar that goes right across, um, not the t-shirt all choking up on it, okay. but just right across, but the little, the little cuffs that it, it like it inserts into the suit, not up underneath the collar or anything of the suit. Um, but then uh, I wanted to put a yellow symbol 
on the back of it like the corn sweat. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. And the symbol can... will be more reminiscent of what I choose in, when we get there. <laughs> okay, all right. Levi, your choice of cape. I mean, I, I think I have even more specificity than James does. It is inserts like the New 52 one, uh, obviously using the New 52 suit as inspiration. Uh, not a fan of the t-shirt collar, as he put it, look uh, for it, where it all kind of tucks in. And if you haven't seen the New 52 one, the back doesn't attach at the neck either. It just has the two insert points, so the back mm -hmm. is kind of a bit more free-flowing. Um I went, I went super specific. I love the material of the Cavill suit cape um, because it has that kind of otherworldly look to it, which they, if you've done the dive on the special features, worked really hard to find a fabric that looked like that. Um, although I shortened it, it's about calf length. So it's length is similar to what Tyler's is in Superman and Lois. And then I did put a symbol on it. The symbol is black because I really like that look from the new 52, but we'll get more into the symbol later. Okay. All right. Solomon's choice. He went, he went with the BVS cape. Big, flowing. Would you put a symbol on the back, Solomon? No. Okay. He does. Both of my kids don't like the symbol on the back. Like when I show them the picture of the new one, they're like, oh, what's up with that? So, and my cape. I will pull it up here in a second, but I will say lengthwise, I'm going right at the bottom of the calf. So like it starts right, at, it would stop right at where the Achilles heel uh, would go. And I went with Val's from Krypton. So that cape with the symbol, the black symbol on the back, and I will even just use that symbol. Like his cape right there, I like the red and everything. And the fact that it's the house uh cape and i mean i always kind of liked the interesting point of superman's symbol a lot of times when the with the F, the symbol on the back is sometimes different than what the symbol is on the front so i chose vows see i don't think your kids are wrong though to me the symbol on the cape is almost as controversial a topic in the superman fandom as the trunks are because you get people who hate it or love it yeah. And that and that's the putting the black on mine is like my one given to like the purest Superman fans who demand the symbol on on the cape still. I wanted I to put a black symbol somewhere and I didn't even think of the uh Krypton the Val the the Val cape. So, I wanted to put yeah, I wanted to put black on it somewhere, but I didn't I ultimately didn't. <laughs> and that would have been the place to do it. I Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hair, which hair did you go with, James? Um, I went with more like man of steel hair, not like totally slick back or slick down. Um, but I don't necessarily need like the spit curl on the forehead. Mm. Okay, Levi, your choice of hair. Uh, Mine, Man of Steelworks, or I initially wrote down uh, Hecklin's hair from Superman and Lois when he's in the costume. Much more modern haircut that still looks different enough from his Clark look. All right. And Solomon went with whew, Corn Sweat. He, he chose. And Solomon, why'd you choose this one? Uh, first of all, I see the curl. Mm -hmm. it's, he's got good hair yeah he's got yeah. good hair i like it it's a good black hair for Superman. and i'm not All opposed right. to it i just you know and and i think honestly he goes like like years chris's hair like really tight and with the spit curl in there but then yep. you got david's he's got full hair but he's still got that curl I kind I kind I like David's more than I like Chris's. That's I kind of went I back go and, with the spit curl. I'd go with David. I went back and forth between the two, but I like that Chris has the curl without being it too pronounced. Unlike how they did Brandon Rouse, where it was a hair attachment yeah. to make sure that it was perfect, <laughs> to where it looked too ridiculous. But I went back and forth between the two, and um, yeah, I, I decided to go with Chris's. So all right. 
our next category for our costume building drum roll is your choice of symbol we'll start with james your choice of symbol um so i went with uh like a classic look symbol um like i like superman and lois's symbol um you know with with a with a classic s uh i like the size of the s better on on uh tyler's first appearance on supergirl but with like the david corn sweat uh yellow outline like mm. your the yellow aisle outline on your yeah yeah but with the yellow background gotcha so okay with the red shield but the yellow outline yellow background and a classic s like the um superman uh when he appeared on supergirl s i liked his symbol more i liked his symbol i, didn't, I just more didn't like that. the little attachments that it had almost yeah but i like the full outline like that one yeah all right, Levi, symbol. I try. I, I did my best to avoid recency bias because I think the new symbol has grown on me very fast and very hard. But if I go with that, my suit's basically going to be an armored version of Corn Sweat's suit. So I went with Cavill's because Cavill's to me is still my favorite version of the S. Which one? Is it the uh, BVS, BVS or Justice League BVS okay. with the with the Kryptonian in it. Does the Kryptonian make any sense to have a, a quote from uh, an or a, an Earth author in there? No, but it, I, I love the look. <laughs> it would so. only make sense if like we saw something where like Clark was like designing a new suit on the ship, and he was like, "Well, I've always liked Joseph Campbell." You like, yeah. and he's like, puts it in there, you know. For I himself. love, I love the alienness of the the Cavill Snyder glyph. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's recognizable as an S, but you can get away with calling it something else because it's just awkward enough mm -hmm. to the eye where it's like that. I could see that being alien. Yeah, I mean, we all know my Henry Cavill love, so I'm like, I was leaning away from like pig, like <laughs> pulling most of his suit from. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I think his suit is one of my fa is definitely like one of my top favorite suits. I mean, I told I said it at the beginning. The Justice League suit when it was shot by Snyder, not by Wheaton, yeah. and it to me is the best live action Superman suit. So it was hard to just not just hold put that, that up. up there. <laughs> All right. And Solomon's symbol is boom. Superman returns. Nice. We're going to. I, I like the choice, Solomon. Yeah, I like you know this symbol. Love it or hate it, like it has a special place in, in my heart, just because of the film, the timing, and all that. Like it's my favorite belt buckle that I have. So. Really good year. We had Sonic 06. I don't know if you guys know what Sonic 06 is, but uh, I mean, and we also had Superman Returns. We had some other stuff that I can't. That that's I when my right that's now. when my band was playing the most and really active. So it was a good good year. I met yeah, yeah. I met your aunt that year, so it was a really good year. Yeah. Um, and then my symbol. If you can't figure it out. Ta -da. <laughs> the Fleischer <laughs> is the Fleischer based. I like it. I think it's, I like the color. I've always liked the black. That's why I like when I made this, I made the black in the back. Um, I do like to just call back more towards the early years of the character when it is more of an S at the same time. Um, but I, I think it's a great recognizable symbol. So I'm going with the Fleischer. And now the last one that we kind of, I kind of threw in there just to mess with everybody is which fortress of solitude did you choose? We'll start with James. What is your fortress of solitude? The one from Supergirl, the one that she goes to Superman's fortress. Like, all you right. know, it looks all like scientific and, <laughs> and technical. Yeah. I'll throw, I'll, bust, I'll throw mine out since this is, <laughs> there we go. everybody can see it, but yeah. That was mine. I thought, you know, her fortress 
when she went to Clark's Fortress, I thought was uh really awesome. So that we'll jump ahead. Like that's my fortress. Man, so unless we went cool. animation or something, you know, pulled some of those or pulled it from the comics, one of those ones. That's but like live action was kind of where we were were working within the realm of. And so that's what the one I went with. <laughs> All right, Levi. Mine was never called the fortress in any of the, the things it appeared in, but I am calling it the fortress. I'm <laughs> going the with the, the scout ship. It's the scout ship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the most alien. I swore that was going to be, I swore that was going to be the fortress, man. It should have been. It, it I, was. It was I have basically. so many personal head cannons about the scout ship that, if they would have continued on the franchise that could have worked, but well, well, we, yeah, we did a, we did a, um, a trilogy discussion way back when I first started and we went with man of steel and our own sequel and our own trip, our own trilogy, our third movies and kind of the idea of what those movies would be. And, you know, the scout ship was being the fortress. I did call the kryptonite being made by the world engine, and stuff so there were some really cool things there that i wish you know they really would have done if they would have i mean this really scout franchise ship. superman like it should have been the scout ship was the fortress it was just his version of the fortress you yeah know? but he should have still had it you know what i mean well i mean <laughs> he did he got it, like a man of steel and then it crashed but then he never the whole point was the whole film series was him building up to being more like I would assume that he would eventually get that. Like take the pieces. Yeah, away. I think you know my, what I mean. My thought was we'd see him lifting it and flying away with it. You yeah, know, like maybe so. after BBS or something, if he didn't die, or in the sequel, the Man of Tomorrow sequel, it should have been. All right, the last fortress of the night. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Solomon chose the Injustice Two fortress. But if we're actually hold on. My mind, the fortress I really like is the Godzilla one that was made by the Mutos that looked like a fortress but never was a fortress. I you know what's a really awesome fortress is the All Star Fortress. Yeah. Yeah. It it really That's an awesome one. But it would really look like a good fortress, like the I know it's like the alien head, but it's like from the beginning of the movie, I think. And it looks like I know you guys are not like really big Godzilla fans, but sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I watch YouTube. And Yours, I... Tyler. Your fortress. Oh uh, no, you what? did. You you went yeah. with Supergirl. That's why you brought it up. That's right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Save Solomon's for last. But okay, it's all right, listeners, viewers, viewers, because this is on YouTube. Uh, I don't remember to change my wordage. What is your choices? What elements would you pick to design your Superman costume? Let us know in the comments. Choose your fortress. Let us know what you think. Um, Comment down below what your favorite symbol is. Yep. Let us know your favorite <laughs> symbol and why. So we want to we want to know. Are you wanting to wear boots from the seventies? Are you like James and secretly dress up like Kirk Allen and run around your neighborhood? I don't know. Let us like let a us sheet know. tied on to me. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Levi, thanks for being here. With the greatest Superman poster of all time in the background behind him right there. There we go. James with the Action Comics number one, rocking it right there. Yep. Thank you guys. Check out next month when we have our <laughs> we have our um YouTube specials for Batman because of Batman Day next month. Keep an eye out on those and enjoy. Good night, everybody.